Hello, it's Kelly with your MDL, and welcome to Let's Look at Databases, where we take a minute to look at various databases available through you, uh, for you through Mel with Marshall District Library. You will be going to our homepage first with yourmdl.org, and from there you will be able to access Melcat and their databases to help with your at-home learning. So once you are at yourmdl.org, we're going to scroll down a little further and you will see this MEL icon, and that's where we're going to click to go to MEL. Access through MEL's databases is provided for you through your Michigan ID or a Michigan Library card, so you may have to input your information once you go to the databases. Once you're on MEL, you're going to scroll down further to see some of their hubs. You will find stuff for educators, library staff, and kids, and that's where we will be starting off today. So click on that. Today we will be looking at one of my personal favorite databases. It is called Pebble Go. It is perfect for emerging readers and young learners K through two. Of course, any age can use this one just because it is fun to go through. It uses key components for early literacy to help aid young learners as they explore their favorite subjects. It hosts sprite images that'll help direct browsing and to help with reading when you hover your mouse over any word, it reads it for you. And here we go with to Pebble Go. Right away, I love the big blue background. And there's also Pebble Go Next, which has more subjects for you, like states, science, history, and biographies. They did start off with animals, since it's one of their favorite subjects. And that's where we will go today as well. Now within animals, it's broken down in different, see, there we go. We're going to hover over something else and see what it says. <laughs> Alphabetically, you can figure out which one you want to go to. You can look at a special pet that you might have at home, or if you're doing a research on other things. Let's go to amphibians. And within there, you have various other animals to look into, such as blood puppies or salamanders. You can look up something you don't even know about or continue learning about something that might be in your own backyard. Let's try mud. Let's try the mud puppies. Within each um, subject that you click on, the entries are short and sweet to keep attention span, and you can also click the speaker button for the entire paragraph to be read aloud to you. And as the words are read within this format, they will be highlighted so you can follow along easily. and you can pause the reading at any time. You will notice that some of the words here are red. Those will be linked to glossary definitions so that you can look deeper into those words. And just click the X to go back to your main body of work. Through here, you'll get an overview. You will get habitat information, what they might eat, their life cycle, and also some extra fun facts. If you go to read more, which is our last tab here, you will get some extra information and articles that are linked to the one that you are reading. Once you are finished, you could also cite the article, print it, and find additional activities. Now within Pebble Go, you can <laughs> Pebble Go. It catches me off guard every time it reads it over. But this, while this is good for early readers, it does not mean that it is, it is limited to early readers. There are video experiments and games that will be better for um, higher learners. And just something that you can explore together as you travel maybe or look at the news and just find new things to explore together. So as you can see, the Pebble Go Next is a slightly higher level of reading than the regular Pebble Go. So this will be for your upper elementary. And it's really good for families to learn all at once. So take a step and explore with databases and Pebble Go. We'll see you next time for another database.